Hey guys, it's Chad with Even More Mac. I have another tutorial for you today. Uh, this one's about Automator. I did one um, about Automator a couple years ago and it was pretty well received. Um, so I figured we'll do another one, a uh, little, uh, little refresher. So first thing is we got to open Automator. I'm going to navigate to the spotlight. It's command space. Open that up. And just like text edit, it'll ask you to either open a file or create a new document. We're going to go ahead and create a new document. And notice there's lots of different um, different applications that we can use uh, Automator for. Today we're going to create just a, a basic workflow. Basically what we want to do is we're, we want to sort through our contact book. Uh, find a con find a contact or multiple contacts and export that data into a new text edit document that I can uh, interact with or create a PDF and send it to someone um, whatever your heart's desire so first thing is we're gonna go into contacts um, you know right here we have actions and variables variables um, will get all kinds of crazy uh, information or holds information um, kind of like a uh, like a Tupperware container just putting information in a Tupperware container putting in the fridge and then coming back to it a little bit later but it can also be used to um, get your computer's IP address or um, figure out the name of the owner etc each um, each action has right here uh, a description of, of what happens in the action which is pretty helpful and additionally um, it'll tell you the input and the result which is great so what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, actually find uh, contacts items and uh, what we want is um, just uh, see any of these are true have his name contain test. So uh, before we got started, I created two different contacts uh, with the name test. Essentially, they're the same thing, um, but they work at two different companies. So the results are these two guys, test one and test two. Um, and that's great, but say we only want one of these. So let's, let's filter it down. So we're just going to take this filter uh, node, put it in there. And we're going to say that uh, the state is California, which one of them works in California, the other in Illinois. So we're going to run this. And we can see from the result here that only one came through, which is exactly what we wanted. So now we're going to um, get that contacts information right here. We're going to filter what information we want. So we want his first name, his last name, yeah, maybe his home address. Actually, it's how a company he works for. Uh, work address, home phone. I don't really care about his work phone. I don't really care about his work email. Um, I don't really care about his, his aim because no one uses that. But I do care about his birthday. So now we run all that. We have a result is right here. But I want to take this information and I want to put it into a, a text document. So I'm going to go navigate to this text area right here. I'm going to create a new text file. Or let's do a new text edit document instead. Excuse me. And then we're going to take, set the contents of the text edit document to be this. And what, uh, this information about uh, test guy. All right, let's run it and see what happens. And there we are. So now we have a nice little text edit document that has a um, test guy who works in uh, California. And if I wanted to get rid of that, just for the sake of showing you guys, and I want to get rid of this node here which filters it down to only one guy and I wanted both of them I could run that and I could have both here too and then we could do 
you know, export it as a PDF and mail it or uh, whatever we want, really. So that's pretty helpful, especially if you want to boil down information or you only want, sp you know, specific parts of, of whatever. Um, Automator is Apple's unsung hero. It's, uh, it's incredibly powerful. There's a lot you can do with it. It saves tons and tons of time. So uh, go through some of these, these actions here and see, you know, what all uh, you can do. If you come up with something creative, post it uh, as a comment onto this video. I'd love to see what you all do with it. All right, guys. Stay tuned for more tutorials. Remember to subscribe. It helps me out tremendously, and I really would appreciate it. Have a great day. Later.